Welcome to my Mysterious Universe channel, where we explore the mysteries of the universe and reveal some of its most mysterious phenomena. Mysterious objects of clearly artificial origin that are occasionally found in coal seams puzzle and shock scientists. These objects could have only entered the coal at the time of its formation, which happened hundreds of millions of years ago. If humans did not exist then, who could have made them? In different years, hundreds or even thousands of different objects of clearly artificial origin have been found in coal seams during their extraction in mines and coal mines. Many of them, without a doubt, ended up in the coal during its formation, which happened hundreds of millions of years ago. According to scientists, humans did not exist at that time, so such findings are highly inappropriate for scientists and are practically not studied. None of the official scientists want to argue with Darwin's theory, so sensational artifacts remain ignored. Here are some of these findings. Asterisk 1852. In this year, a certain John Buchanan presented a rather curious object discovered in a coal seam at a depth of two meters at a meeting of the Society of Antiquarians of Scotland. It resembled a fragment of a large drill. Buchanan said, I share the commonly accepted point of view in geological circles that coal formed long before humans appeared on this planet. But the mystery remains as to how this object, definitely made by humans, ended up inside a coal seam covered with a huge mass of diluvial deposits and large boulders. 1856. During the extraction of a seam in a mine in the Choloman district of the United States, Miners found a complete skeleton at a depth of 40 meters, almost identical to that of a modern human. It had been in the scene for millions of years, completely denying the established theory of evolution. 1871. In a coal mine in Illinois, USA, at a depth of 42 meters, workers found several bronze coins while extracting a coal seam. The coal in which they were found undoubtedly formed millions of years ago when, according to official science, no one could have made these coins. 1891. In this year, the American newspaper Morrisonville Times published a very curious note of barely understandable content. Mrs. Gulp, S.W. Lee Gulp, informed us of a curious find on Tuesday morning. While splitting a block of coal to place it in a box, she noticed a circular groove with a small gold chain of delicate workmanship, about 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters, in length inside it. At first, Mrs. Gulp thought that the chain was part of a tree branch, but it soon became clear that it was made of gold. The block of coal from which it was taken is said to come from the mine at this place. How did the chain come to be in the coal? Of course, it is quite puzzling and cannot be accounted for in any way. The thing is, the coal block was almost split in half, and the ends of the chain, which was rolled into a circle, were located close to each other. When the block split, only the middle part of the chain was exposed on the outside, while both of its ends remained embedded in the coal. This discovery represents an excellent puzzle for archaeologists, who are always eager to ponder the geological structure of the earth whose depths continually present us with ancient mysteries. The coal block, which contained the chain, was extracted from the Taylorville or Panna mines in southern Illinois. It's scary to even think about how many centuries of sedimentation formed one layer after another in the underground depths, concealing from us this ancient artifact made of eight-carat gold, weighing eight pennyweights, 12.4 grams. The age of the coal in which the chain was found was estimated to be 260 to 320 million years. In 1897, an article was published in the Daily News newspaper in Omaha, Nebraska, describing another strange discovery in coal under the headline, Stone Carving Buried in a Mine. The article provided a description of the mysterious object found in coal in a mine near Webster City, Iowa. It read, one of the miners who was digging coal at a depth of 130 feet, 39.5 meters, came across an amazing piece of stone today that somehow ended up at the bottom of the coal mine. 
It was a dark grey stone block about two feet, 61 centimetres, long one foot, 30 centimetres wide, and four inches, 10 centimetres thick. The surface of the stone, which was very hard, was covered with lines that formed polygons, remarkably similar to perfectly cut diamonds. In the centre of each diamond, there was a clearly engraved image of an elderly man with peculiar swirls or wrinkles on his forehead. All of these images were very similar to each other, and all of the faces, except for two, looked to the right. The miners were unable to even speculate how the stone could have ended up in the underground depths at a depth of 130 feet beneath several layers of sandstone, but they were sure that the layer of rock where they found the discovery had been untouched before them. In 1912, at the power station in the American city of Thomas, Oklahoma, while preparing coal, two workers were breaking up a massive block when a real iron cup fell out of it along with some debris. Some consider the finding to be a small iron kettle. Its contours were clearly imprinted in the rock fragments, so there was no doubt that the cup was embedded in the coal. It is worth recalling that the coal delivered to the power station was around 300 million years old. The unique find was exhibited at the Museum of Creationism. Beside the cup was a written statement sworn under oath on November 27, 1948, by Frank Kenwood, which said, In 1912, when I was working at the municipal power station in the city of Thomas, Oklahoma, I came across a massive block of coal. It was too big, so I had to break it with a hammer. This iron cup fell out of the block, leaving a cavity in the coal. A man named Jim Stoll, a company employee, witnessed me breaking the block and the cup falling out. I managed to find out the origin of the coal. It was mined in Wilburton, Oklahoma. In 1928, in one of the coal mines in the state of Oklahoma, USA, at a depth of hundreds of meters, miners came across a clearly artificial wall made of cubic blocks while mining coal. Each side of the cube was 30 centimeters, and the faces had perfect finishing. The discovery literally shocked the miners, as each of them understood that the coal was formed 200 to 250 million years ago before there were any humans. Who could have built this wall? Interestingly, immediately after this, the mine management ceased coal mining at the site and forbade the miners from telling anyone about this sensational find. One of the eyewitnesses, Mathis, recalled, the next morning, several concrete blocks of cubic shape with a side of 12 inches were found in the hall, so smooth and literally polished that the surface of any of the six faces of each block could be used as a mirror. I chipped off a piece from one of them with a pick. It was real concrete. And when I started installing fixtures in the hall, unexpectedly the rock collapsed, and I barely escaped. Returning there after the rockfall, I found a whole wall made of exactly the same polished blocks. Another miner working 100 to 150 yards, nine zero. 137 meters below stumbled upon the same or exactly the same wall. In the fall of 1928, coal mining at this location was terminated. In 1968, James Parsons and his two sons discovered a wall made of shale blocks in the Hammondsville coal mine in the U.S. state of Ohio. This impressive smooth wall appeared before the miner's eyes after the overlying layers of coal collapsed during mining. Interestingly, the surface of this mysterious wall was covered with rows of relief hieroglyphic images. The impression may be created that the majority of mysterious discoveries in coal seams were made a long time ago, but that is not the case. Artifacts are still being found today. For example, a resident of Vladivostok, Dmitri, purchased three tons of coal from Caucasia. In one of the coal pieces, he saw a strange rod sticking out of it. Fortunately, the discoverer did not hesitate and brought it to Valerid Vuzilmi, a researcher of anomalous phenomena in Downegorsk. When the discovery was cleaned of coal, it turned out to be a 7.5 centimeters long aluminum toothed rail. This was clearly an artificial object made almost entirely of pure aluminum 
with a magnesium admixture. The coal in which it was found was about 300 million years old, so someone made the rail in that very distant time from us. According to one hypothesis, visitors from space left this part, while according to another, it was made by representatives of a very ancient unknown earthy pre-civilization. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more fascinating stories and mysteries from around the world. Thanks for watching.